I thought no. you were gonna show me something like oh no, no, no. I, I hate cheap jump scares. At this point, everyone should know. I hate cheap jump scares. Silent Hill, the video game. Yeah, I'm all for it. I could play it. Science Freaks, I could play it. But I, uh, and you know, I watch FNAF the movie because you know that's the one thing I you know I, I I'm I'm always gonna watch the FNAF movie. But Silent Hill the movie, I couldn't even watch it. I was like, nah, I'm good. All right, uh, so this is gonna be hard to chop up everyone of the audience. Welcome to another episode with the one on one where I simply like the video. Uh, it's kind of hard to see it because I'm actually just um capturing the Discord display. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Well, so where, where my introduction? Oh my bad. I got none other than my boy Aki from Aki Otenshi. First few subscribers that he has. No, hey. no, 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 uh, you forgot. I'm oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. No one can see it. Actually, oh, oh. let me work on that. There it goes. Now they can see you. Now they, oh, look at that. So, me and him decided to make the Squash Avocado react. We're still working on that. So, we're, he's branding out one of the best drips I've ever seen. Look at that. S-A-T-C-S. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. What does it stand for, Aki? What does it stand for? Sexually attracted <laughs> to <laughs> um freak me commenter um freak me what's up I just go and then all right so I, I'm, I'm making him nervous Josh Morris the fifty three twenty two said that you should react to Urbex Hills I was gonna do that at first low key I was watching a church one and I actually wanted to cry instead of like be scared. And like I mean, it's not bad, but I'm watching the eight very distur terrifying and disturbing things caught on doorbell cameras. Now, here's the kicker, uh, Aki. Here's how I handle these stuffs. Okay, I'm not gonna watch the full video. We're gonna watch as much as we can muster, um, because it'll destroy the value of their video. So I'll end up sending a link into the description if you want to see the full video. Uh, like like the video and comment giving a shout out to me or the squashed avocado channel so you know we got our choices all right so you're ready no <laughs> i'll take that as a yes let's do this oh that's too loud Hold on, I'm that down real quick. on november Ooh. 30th 2021 a woman in Dallas posted footage of a man standing outside her apartment door late at night. This incident, which was captured by her ring doorbell camera, raised significant concerns as the man had been stalking her and standing outside her door almost every night. She stated that she has contacted the police about this problem she's been dealing with since October 31st, but according to her, not much was done from the authorities to keep this man away. Here is what she recorded. Also, uh, Aki, you can also ask me when to pause if you want to add an input towards okay. something. If I'm in my room, right? Yes. In my, let's say I'm just chilling in bed. My ring goes like, ring camera goes like, oh, someone's outside. And this is the first thing I see. I kid you not. Anything flammable. Anything that's <laughs> like heavy. Like, I, I'm full out. Like if that guy comes near me, yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a lighter. Let's see, I'm gonna buy like you know what? Thank you for like letting me um see this because like now I'm so paranoid that I'm gonna buy twenty tanks of gasoline in front of my door. So like I'm gonna just spill it over like all over my house. So like if he comes and gets me, I'm burning everything down. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just take out my hoodie. No, it's me. It's me. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. Oh, and the, well, the house on fire. <laughs> Low key, though, I will say that that actually is terrifying. Having a stranger just stand there, mm -hmm. like even if he doesn't do anything, just standing there is scary on its uh -huh. own. I guess probably drugs or something. Yes, most definitely. Yes, drugs has always been part of the reason why people do this. <laughs> Oh, freak me. Oh, he's drunk. Oh. 
in the videos that are shown the man just yeah, stands um, while occasionally dude that is terrifying because like well put in like well me since i have my kid imagine i like imagine i'm at work right or something like that and this happens like in the middle of the day i'm i'm beating the crap out of whoever messes with my kid if i like man i i don't have a kid but if i was to do that like mm. i'd go like full on god of war all over that person no and dude um so where i work at um without giving too much of my you know no that's fine that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. Just, um, um so basically i'm the one who closes right yeah i literally have to put up with people like this oh god there was this one time i had like i was in the back of the building and i had a um this guy used to be like near the forest and like he was just stand, uh, staring there, and ever since that day, because he would always stand there, but, like, it was closing time. Ever since that day, every time at 7.30, I would always pass my cart up front where it's visible. Because I'm scared of that, like, that, uh, that one guy might just come in, like, mm -hmm, you know. You're about to get in the Wrong place, wrong time. Facts, facts. <clears throat> like, um, the fact that he is, like, um drunk like he has the bottle somewhere in there uh i had experiences with people who are drunk as well too and they do the mm. craziest crap and then oh yeah dude later they're gonna have like the biggest worst hangover ever <laughs> so well, basically we're trying to say <laughs> alcohol bad <laughs> yes <laughs> instead right. of picking up that bottle why don't you pick up that bible pick no. up the bible <laughs> stating that she is now safe and that security guards of the apartment are regularly patrolling the halls making sure she's okay this next video captures the shocking incident involving a middle-aged asian couple targeted in what appears to be a follow home style robbery by a masked man wielding a gun this alarming event took place in southern seattle washington the footage was initially shared on reddit by user will mock here's what their ring camera captured <laughs> So I get, I know it's supposed to be scary and it is terrifying. It is terrifying to have someone run up to you and try to rob you point blank with a gun. The mm. fact is that he he's not using it. He really just walked up, tries to open the door. I think he does he really just in what? swiftly locked the door. I am so sorry for everyone who's victim to such things like that. But that that fool just stole the freaking ring camera. It's <laughs> like <laughs> watch me flip a profit on this <laughs> no but like um if you look at the um video people like this are like watch so not only did he show his face to the ring camera instead of like looking the other way and trying to still like rob it he's like looking straight at him like huh Oh, these, these resell on Amazon for. <laughs> Afterward, the man noticed. The oh no, he had a. Um, began to destroy that's a weapon, to and like even more he has, a, just he has an extended magazine on there. Yeah. The intruder was not acting alone. Oh, I didn't Shortly see that after guy. the video was posted, it quickly garnered attention with numerous Reddit users. They pointed out a disturbing pattern of a string of similar robberies occurring in the area. Ring cameras gone missing. Substantiated by local news outlets in Seattle. This video shows hey, one of the not gonna lie. I have a ring camera. <laughs> oh, for real? So, like, I know the whole thing about, you know, guns and all that. It's like, you know, it's hot, you know, people, some people say, we, you know, I guess, what I'm trying to say, I'm not trying to get political, but, like, guns help. <laughs> because, no, like, it, um, this, it, this yeah. one time, um, I don't know if you remember, um, well, this one time, like, when someone comes near our house and tries to steal something, we don't okay all we do is go outside shoot some rounds and then everything's quiet for a while i would feel like i'll just start scoping the air i'm fitting to play warzone in irl <laughs> yeah <laughs> start saying. sliding the like, floor. and it, I, I find it funny how like even if you like if you're getting robbed right i'm not sure if it's here but i just heard it in some places that um you have to be cornered in order to take the shot and if they're running away you can't shoot Nah. Nah. Yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't waste bullets. But I'm surprised for the fact <laughs> that um Reddit Reddit users are by far the heroes, I guess, in this story for the fact that they chained each robbery together something like, Oh, somebody's stealing ring cameras. 
<laughs> the good side of Reddit. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> make sure I put this not for kids. <laughs> oh, no, definitely. I Every video I make, I mm -hmm. YouTube has now, um, it, it didn't claim anything, but YouTube has definitely told me, choose one of two and i was like oh yeah it's not for kids anything i'm doing yeah. right now is not for kids i may be a christian like, but none of that's for kids and then, and then we could put like well we you could put like disclaimer uh some of these videos are disturbing <laughs> literally in the title <laughs> seriously um that would just be with urbex hills but i, I want to skip over sometimes i do that as well too so mm -hmm. it saves the whatever happens in the video yeah. see like um well just want to add a quick note yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure I know what like what's going to what's going to happen here. If this guy was trying to get robbed and he had a heart attack and he died, I'm pretty sure that's I don't remember if it's second degree murder or third degree murder. It's, but it's one of those because they they were the ones they they didn't shoot him they didn't want to kill him, but by doing something, I know that, it's like like as as far as I know they cannot say they did not try to that is attempted murder. Or oh, first by the degree. way, oh, I just want to point out that like. Anything I say, like if I if like if I if I'm over here saying like oh I think it's second degree or third I, I'm no expert I just heard it online and watched a video or something um, so like don't take my advice at all push your glasses up like the how they do it <laughs> exactly oh I got you got you <laughs> actually buddy <clears throat> G fuel oh not, not both <laughs> round one game yourself <laughs> hold on trying to say like G fuel sponsored you or something no it's because like um. You know how I watch trash seeds and all that? Yeah. They always been saying um something about G uh gamer subs because I used to drink G Fuel because of PewDiePie. But I'll try game uh gamer subs and this was pretty good. Um, I love the fact that the boys were also uh, doing the collab for it. Even, no, even... I know I'm good. I'm just no. <laughs> <laughs> that's not part of that's not the point of the video. Alright. So I'm surprised the guy got what looks like to be a taser, and that is by far Oof, that actually did kind of made me jump a bit because I was not expecting that. Oh, so he got tased. I thought the guy was having a heart attack. I, I hope he... <laughs> the chain reaction could happen, dude. But I will say, it's like, why do you have a gun if the taser seemed like enough? I, I don't yeah. know. Like, Weeks later, late one night in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He looks like Savannah a Savannah captured something absolutely dude. terrifying on her ring camera. What? What input do you got? What? What, bro? He looks like a Call of Duty zombie, bro. <laughs> the fact that he moved exactly like one as well, too, dude. <laughs> uh, just all it needs is that sound effect, bro, for real. 10:20 p.m. A man appeared at her front door. He began violently slamming his body against the woman's door, trying to force his way inside. After several attempts, the man stumbled back and fell over the porch railing. Terrified, the woman calls the police. Here's what happened. So, um, I do want to add something. There was, there was this guy who was drugged. Same place I told you. You know, um, at work, I went out there to confront him. He was doing the exact same thing this guy's doing, but to um to like a, a food line cart that was for some reason somewhere there. The nearest food line from like the place I worked for is like ten minutes away, at fifteen walking. No, it's fifteen minutes away walking, driving distance like five minutes, but still. Anyway, he was slamming himself onto it. Claiming he was the 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 um the Messiah, <laughs> so like I don't know. <laughs> I, I I like the fact that he says he's the Messiah is what makes me laugh. But seeing mm -hmm. this action really tells you about what what happens if you do like if you go mm -hmm. what what is the word overdose on drugs. This well, year. if you go on like you know on the deep end of it so oh, push like, up your glasses now push up your glasses uh, <laughs> but technically technically buddy um, if you go over <laughs> over the limit if you say tama that oh uh, this could happen to 
anyone. Oh, you mean this is <laughs> happening to any? This is no, yeah. This is actually happening to everyone. My bad, my bad. <laughs> no, I, but it, it it is crazy though, cause like I see stuff like this like on a weekly basis. I don't, I don't, I don't really like this. Whoever suggested to watch Urbex Hill, mm-hmm. really, really t- did like good suggestion, cause this is this is terrifying to me, cause I actually thought he was over the rail like this, not back. Like he's on his back, and that. Oh my gosh! Not gonna lie, I think the scariest one was the first one. Cause like if I feel like if this guy comes to my house and starts doing this, it gives me like enough time to go to like a corner and scream out, "Hey, back up, back up!" But see, here here's the thing. Watch for me. It's like not everything could be solved with like a gun. So like I'll probably have a taser with me, but I'll have my gun on the other hand. <laughs> if you overpass my taser. You're getting, you know, which I mean, in my, in my, in my, like, in my head, I'm like, you know, it's better to be prepared than scared, cause you know, <laughs> don't be scared, be aware. <laughs> yeah, you, I remember you. I remember you told me that, crap. Yeah. <laughs> Beach Police Department reported that the officers took the man to the hospital for treatment and was later arrested. It's quite obvious the man was under the influence of drugs or was possibly having some sort of manic episode. Either way, this would have been terrifying to experience. This next video shows a bizarre moment that occurred in January 2019 in the city of Salinas, California. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. (laughs) Look at that nose. Oh my gosh, you freaking monster. Why would you point that out? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I was laughing to the fact that um his face made it look like the signal like Quando <laughs> did <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I, it should have been more scary things, but whenever when I'm with Aki, we just we just laugh. I was not. I did not realize the nose at all, dude. <laughs> the I, nose is huge. It takes up a good twenty five percent. Bro, that looks like um, you know, Sesame Street, Bert and Ernie. Oh yeah, look at that Bert's nose right there, bro. Could definitely put pictures. Could read the comparisons. That looks like Phineas's cousin right there. From <clears throat> Phineas and Fer- <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's be serious, man. Let's be serious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The fact that they actually took that picture of the exact moment as well too. They were like, "I, I, I I'm, I, 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 yeah." I would hang that up in the front door, going like, "I know you try to break into my house, but what's up with that?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, what that? That's the exact same one I have. Early morning, licking the doorbell of. Oh my god, oh, that time. Who were not at home at the time were alerted to the unusual activity through the ring system's motion detection feature. Here's what it recorded. <laughs> oh, I feel like blurting this all this out. Oh my gosh. Oh my Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm stopping. I'm stopping. You were about to what? You said you were about to what? I said, no, 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 me. I said he this guy looks like he's about to. J- that intercom must have been lit. Uh, link in the description. Link in the description. This next video shows a man peering in the window of a 22-year-old model from Florida. She installed a ring camera on her front door and shortly after caught footage of the stalker creeping around her house. Minutes after she arrived home, indicating he was likely following her. Freaking peeping Tom. Yeah, this is. To be honest, this is like. How to say this? Like, I understand she might be a model, she has money and all that, but like. And like, people are gonna follow her, and people are gonna wanna, you know. There's people out there and all that, but yeah. like. I don't know. To me, like, if, like. I don't know, being a female is hard because, like, men 
Well, hold on. I said like, a, well, I'm here. Hmm. Yeah, no, no yeah. Be, being a female is kind of, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like hard, you know, hard to be a female because like you never know when someone's like, oh, let me let me catch a peep or, or someone's walking like, because like this one time I caught this guy with his um with his camera, and um he had his camera out right. Yeah. And he's over there just recording, and I'm like, I'm in there at Walgreens like. What's the guy doing? And like he just moves with his phone like this. Like, hey, which one is it? Is it this one? And there's like this lady. Um, she was, you know, I mean, she, I mean, she was a lady, you know. She, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess the guy was like really attracted to her or something. I'm over there just trying to get diapers for my son, and like this lady's just trying to get like a uh, milk formula, like formula for her baby. And so she's like crouched, and this guy's over there, like you know, trying to see if he can get like a good little peek. Going like, oh, which one is it? Is it this one or this one? Like, you know, just pretending to be on a phone call with someone. Yeah. And I'm and I decided to go. Oh, excuse me, because I grabbed um formula. I was like, oh, excuse me, I'm just gonna grab this real quick. And he moves out the way and walks away. And like, I just make sure to stay there for a little bit. And like, um, once we leave, uh, the lady's like, that guy was a creeper. Like, mm-hmm. And I, but yeah, there's people like that. I hate them. Aki, Aki being the true hero here, man, for real. Because women, women out here, like, it's true. It's tough for them. Like, like not just for, like, jobs and opportunities and stuff, but, like, um, just life with guys always being creeps around people, you know? This one. And, like, um, and like I know how people go, like, oh, women are equal to men. And, like, for me, it's more like, yeah, definitely. Men and women equal, equal pay, equal right, equal, equal everything. But when it comes to like, phys, like, like physical, you know, uh, uh, yeah, appearance wise yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, like I'm not trying to say like, oh, women are like weak. So, and like, if I see a bodybuilder, like a woman who's a bodybuilder out there, and she tells me to fight her, I mean, I don't fight. But if I get beat, I'm not gonna feel like, oh my god, I'm less of a human. I'll be like, God. I just got, like, wrecked. Like, I'm going to just get wrecked. Bro, if I fight your sister, I'm dead. There's no even competition there. What's the point of even fighting, dude? Yeah, like, <laughs> like for me, it's for me, it's not like, oh, um, like, I don't know if you've seen this uh, clip, but it's like a Batman meme. It's, it's, it's not a meme. It's from the, sh- the cartoon shows, and it's like, um... <laughs> I forget what Batman said. He was like, "Oh, the the fist, uh, like you won't hit a woman." And like Batman's like, oh, "The fist is just non-discriminatory. It's rated E for everyone, bro." <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like for me, it's like women and men, same. We should all have the same rights to everything. But you know, women, uh, women, uh, majority of the women uh, focus on looking pretty. A majority of men focus on like getting built, or you know, you just like in between. Or everyone has their way, whatever. Just like my cousin, he just drank some protein, like right. <laughs> song oh my gosh i want to ask something else why is he like is he like hoping he can catch her like dre- like getting dressed because that's this is the only possible thing he, this guy could do because why would he want to go see her like just hurting doing her normal activity. And then again, I'm not a stalker or anything, so I wouldn't understand his mentality. No, I think it, I think it was just try to catch her like you know where was the shower, where's the bathroom, or if secret activity happens and he just like it, it, it's that sort of crap. I the music behind this is really good. I'm pretty sure for like models and all that, the best way you can show your love is not by going to the house and creeping on at him. The best way you can do it is just go and support her, and that's it. Bro, like uh, this one streamer I watch, like you know how they say the feeling it, you get when the streamer acknowledges your comment. Oh yeah, yeah. She acknowledged my comment. I was like, oh, what the freak? I should have deleted. It. I shouldn't have sent it. No. Start getting, start getting nervous and jump, bro. Uh, future videos. Uh, <laughs> does this go show thirst trap? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, did you know that that streamer or YouTuber you were watching was actually 12 at the time? What the freak? I hate that trend. I hate 
I hate whatever wave got every YouTuber doing this crap. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go big. I don't want to go big anymore. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I saw this TikTok where it was like huh, YouTubers after they reach one million, and it's like the urge to love little kids. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's so horrible. It's so horrible. That's why I need to get married soon. I don't want to do this crap anymore. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, you know what? You know, um, this has nothing to do with any of it. But I just wanted to add, like, if, like, if anyone ever accused me of doing anything wrong, I'm automatically trying to think, did I do it? Even though, like, I'm 100% sure I didn't do it. Despite repeated reports to the police, no action was taken, and the stalker returned a week later. Feeling unsafe, the woman has since moved away from the area. This next video See, shows that, that, a terrifying that moment. A man broke into a family's home. The man, later identified as Jonathan Gonzalez, entered the home while a mother and her baby were asleep. The home security camera recorded him quietly moving around the bedroom before approaching the sleeping woman and behaving inappropriately. Hey, um, something I wanted to add. Um, my whole house to be as unsecured as, you know, for me, it's more like if it's my main room and that's where if all of us are staying, I'm locking it. Like, um, I have this thing where like I want to put heavy objects in front of windows, not too heavy, like well heavy enough to make a big noise. That way, I know what's going on. Because like, if I put like a like furniture in front of my window, right, that guy has to get over to come in the house. So that way, I'll be like, oh, something broke. What's up? I was thinking almost the same thing because my nephew, um, so my sister and his, um, her husband sleep in an opposite side of the house. Sometimes when I come over, I just sleep on the couch and he would talk and stuff. And I'm over here like actually thinking about like, oh, oh, this better not be anyone coming into that room as long as they don't mess with my nephew. And just seeing this. This ultimately really disturbs me for the fact that I was like, I'm, if that was my nephew, oh my gosh, dude, it it was been it's it's scary, that's scary. I saw this that um I don't know if it's true or not, but um a lot of the times when there's like uh break-ins and all that, normally um they don't target houses that are like in the countryside, for the only reason that like that person might have a weapon with him because you know. It's your land, so it's all open free. Yeah. Wait, hold on. He said he did. It, it's it's really insane for that it's fact it's as well too. And gosh, a former fam like a friend of the family. Oh no! Screw me, dude. Screw hold on. Me. You, you you haven't ended the video, right? Not yet. So I'm gonna start this tradition, where guys, if this uh, well, what's your average like likes? Like how many, What's your average likes on here? One. Wait, two. really? Like, uh, I don't, it depends. Everything is uh, like an RNG game. Okay, what if it's a banger video? If it's a banger video, the most I would see is five. All right, guys, get this man to ten, 10 likes and, I don't know, two comments? Ten likes, two comments. No, 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 well, I'll bring Aki again for more scary videos. No, I was going to say 10 ones. likes. I was going to say 10 likes and two comments, and you, you come to my house, jump in the pool with your clothes on. Oh, my What's God. going on YouTube? That would be the last thing I would do, and I would. All right. <laughs> no, no, hold on. Ooh, you can handle spice, right? Yeah, I can handle it. 10 likes, and you do the chip. How about I do the pull? <laughs> I want to. I prefer doing the pull one. I try to do. All right, you know what? There's a ladder there on the pool, right? I saw you eat ten albaneros like nothing, bro. I'ma just do a front flip to the pool with my clothes on. <laughs> For ten likes. If you want me to eat habanero, it's going for a squashed avocado channel. However, here, here, do it like this. Mm, if you get 10 likes oh hold on no here's not what I'm wearing 
10 likes and you have to ask your you have to wear out. anything <laughs> okay <laughs> nothing t- t- no 10 <laughs> likes and you have to wear what would be something that's like like funny to you like not funny but like embarrassing but you have to do it your shirt <laughs> you said it was <laughs> no, cool it is cool um and, and, um okay so 10 likes, 2 comments, and I'm going to wear a Hatsune Miku shirt. Well, this and watching other stuff too. Especially, actually, next video, probably next week if you're down, Nukes Top 5 again. Huh? You're willing to do Nukes Top 5? What's that? You don't know Nukes Top 5? Oh, no. I was about to say. I, I was like, that's definitely going for next week then. I heard you say you want to nuke me next time. And I was no, like, No, what? what? <laughs> That's what I was like. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> All right. So as you guys know, if you guys like the video, go ahead and like it and comment down below. as got a shout out for me or Aki or the Squashed Avocado. Let them know that I watch it. Oh, I might be down for uh, Sam and Colby at some point. They got you know it. who um, you know who I sometimes react to? Who? Um. Who we should react to? Uh, I don't know if you've seen um Sunny B two. We have some. They're they're they they're he does pretty good videos. I don't know if you want to look him up right now, uh. But it's um Sunny V two. He does like um. He does some pretty good videos. Seven pretty likes and I will do that. Seven likes, huh? The one of my Guys, videos managed to reach yeah. like eight. So I'm uh, sure I hope possible. this video gets. I hope this video gets like twelve. Um. If it gets 12, 12 views, I, that I, way you got to do the um, the shirt, the shirt, the wig. We get to do that video. Oh, let's go. It's going to be on the Squashed Avocado channel, though. I ain't putting that for my channel. People are going to spam me with that crap. Well, probably not. I don't know. You should do it. I mean. Yeah, I definitely oh, would it's, do it. It's only fair. I would do it.